Have you ever dreamed about riding gracefully through the sky on a Charizard? Well, if you ever meet a Charizard and decide to go for a ride, prepare to pay an expensive medical fee to the Pokemon Center because it's probably not going to support your weight. Because little did you might have known, Charizard is pretty puny. Hey guys, I'm BLTX, and welcome to a new Nintendo video. <laughs> You know what's kind of depressing? Knowing that a lot of Pokemon you imagine as being super awesome and cool are, in fact, not what they may be in real life. In this video, I'll be discussing a few ways the Pokedex is Earth-bound to disappoint. Sticking with Charizard, how big would you expect it to be? Charizard isn't actually a dragon, but that's how many of us have taken it to be. European dragons are typically depicted as being several feet tall. Maybe like 15 feet? Ash Ketchum. A 10-year-old who's probably around 4 feet and 70 pounds could possibly ride one with relative ease. But for some people like myself, it's a dream we passed long ago. At 5 feet 7 inches and weighing almost 200 pounds, I'll be splitting that thing's spine in half, so this ain't gonna fly. We need another Pokemon. What about Pidgeot? Those feathers look pretty comfortable. Unfortunately, this ain't any better. Pidgeot is in fact even worse than Charizard. At 4 feet 11 inches, in 87.1 pounds. To crush this dream even further, let's look at a real bird. Birds have hollow bones, which is necessary to get them off of the ground as it naturally makes them lighter. It kind of makes things like this just feel ridiculous. And speaking of Pokemon that are 4 foot 11, Salamence is another Pokemon you couldn't ride, and he is a dragon. You know what else is 4 foot 11? Dunsparce. Dunsparce may be a snake, but he's based off of the Tsushikinoko, a mythical Japanese creature said to have a minimum size of 11 inches and max of 2 feet. Uh, let's look at some other Pokemon. Rattata. Rattata usually weighs about 7.7 .7 pounds and is 1 foot in weight, which does sound fair. But then in his Alolan form, Rattata remains the same height, but gains almost an entire pound. And if we look at the two side by side, it doesn't appear to be any fatter. So where does this extra pound come from? This is unlike a little inform Raticate, which also gains weight and stays the same height, except this one is fat. How about Sandshrew? This Pokemon normally weighs 26.5 pounds and has a height of 2 feet. It's, uh, his Alolan inform gains 4 inches and gains... 61.7 pounds?! What?! How do 4 inches gain this much weight?! Sure, its body becomes ice and water is pretty heavy, but should it really gain this much weight? Naturally, I had to do some research, and here's what I read. This comes from some person on Korra, so I wouldn't take it too seriously, but here's what I read. A gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds. Water expands by approximately 9% when frozen. A gallon of ice would then weigh 9% less than a gallon of water. 8.34 minus approximately 9%, approximately 7.59 pounds. When you take numbers like this into account, this massive gain in weight seems ridiculous. And well, I don't usually say this, but that deserves a lolin. Oh, I need some sanity. Sableye, bail me. Okay. Good. Good height. Now let's see the weight. Okay, good. Nearly 224 pounds. That's not so bad. How much do you gain? <laughs> wow, really? I'm so <laughs> Excuse me a minute. <laughs> How do you go from this height to this height, from this weight to this weight? Is there any excuse here? I had to do the research. I found a carry is a notably lesser amount of weight than a pound. Using a simple online converter, I found that 354.9 pounds is equal to an astronomical amount of carrots you'll never find anywhere. So why on earth did he gain so much? That is more than 300 pounds! Sableye, you broke me. I can't do this video anymore. I need a break.